This is Dr. Matt Ward, and I'm going to show you how I use the Lioli 24 injector system for Visi and ICL surgery. This product is by AST, and I have no financial interest. The Lioli 24 injector system is a well-designed, ergonomic, closed system type injector that utilizes a inner coating in the cartridge they call Lubramatrix. Lubramatrix is supposed to lower the co coefficient of friction in wet environments and produce a nice gliding action with very little friction or, or low chance of damage to the IOL. There's a silicone plunger that engages with the cartridge, very flexible and durable. It can be easily removed and replaced. And as I've used this injector, I've, that's come in handy. I, you, you can reuse it if the IOL is not injecting properly, it can be reloaded. The cartridge itself has little wings that snap together and then are inserted into the injector where the plunger is advanced and once it engages the injector it becomes a closed system that uh, hydraulically pushes the IOL into the eye without any direct contact to the IOL or with low contact. So here's a case of high myopia where a Visian ICL was implanted. These are two one millimeter paracentesis that are made and a small amount of ocucote is injected into the eye to protect endothelium. One of the advantages of the Lioli system is making a smaller incision. So I usually use a 2.8 millimeter incision. I have gone through 2.5 millimeter as well. I just feel like the 2.8 is a little bit easier. Folding is simple. The eye seal is brought onto the platform, the folding platform, and tucked underneath. There's two ridges. You need to tuck it underneath. No additional instruments are needed to fold the lens. Initially, I don't lubricate the cartridge because it's easier to get the lens folded in there, and then afterwards I fill with BSS to try get any, to get any air out of there. And then you can directly visualize the ICL while you're folding the wings together and snapping them. You can see they're there's, it does not get caught in that in the folding mechanism, which is really important to, to watch that under direct visualization so you don't catch the ICL there. Injecting it in the eye is simple. It's hard to get all the air out. Uh, there's probably a good way to do that. I haven't 100% figured that out, but the bubbles are inconsequential to the outcome of the surgery. The ICL goes in very easily. I go slow just to make sure it folds properly and is not upside down. And once the ICL is in the eye, OcuCoat is placed over the top of the ICL to push it down toward the crystalline lens in preparation for tucking of the four foot plates, which I do with the Drysdale nucleus manipulator. So with this injector system, no special instruments are needed other than what I already have for my FACO tray and I can do the entire surgery now without without having to to use the MST folding forceps and the the other instruments for ICL and once all those Foot plates are tucked and they're all underneath the iris. I use bimanual INA to get rid of every last bit of viscoelastic I can. I feel that any viscoelastic remaining behind the ICL is a risk for postoperative IOP elevation and potentially pupillary block, so I'm pretty meticulous about removing viscoelastic. And finally, myostat, dilute myostat is injected to bring the pupil down and keep the ICL where it needs to be. And I usually place some reassure glue at the end just to make extra sure those incisions stay closed. And I do dropless surgery with intracameral moxie and subconj kenalog. This is Matt Ward. Thank you very much.